Hello everybody and also welcome to the channel of Eclectic Chessa. If this is not your first time of being here, then I thank you so much for coming back for me. Truly, I always appreciate the way you guys return. Really, really. I truly mean that. However, if this is your first time of being here, then I so wholeheartedly welcome you as well. I actually urge you to stick around because there's always a lot of fun over here. Either way, very, very interesting. So please don't go. I promise you, it'll be good. My name is Vanessa Dante Raja Chewa and today, I will be telling you the story of Anasa and the gum statue, but I'll make it a bit more interesting and I'll put a lot of account programs in it. This is for those who want to learn more about it and are not that fluent in it, um, people like me. <laughs> so if you like this type of video, just comment in the comments box below. Let me know what you thought and let me know what you think and I would really like to know your opinions on this one. If you like this video, you can share it, you can give us a thumbs up and show some love. And until then, you can just enjoy the story and I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Once upon a time, there lived in a small village a man called Kweku Anase. He lived with his wife, Konole, and their son, Intikuma. Now it is said that, which means nobody knows the beginning of a great man. However, for those who do know Kweku Anase, we all know he is far from virtuous. There was famine in the village, so Anase and his family decided to make a big farm. They worked all day without rest. However, Anasa did not work as much as his wife on Sunday. He often complained of being ill and stayed at home to smoke his pipe and to sleep. Mm. As the saying goes, Anuman Twa Obuada, which means he who wants to eat needs to actually work for it. Nothing will come to you if you sit around and do nothing all day. One day, Anasa went to the farm and saw how beautifully everything had grown. These vegetables, corn, yam, and fruits are all ripe, he said to himself. At that very moment, he thought of a secret plan. Hmm, too bad for his wife and son. And as the saying goes, Abuabibakawa no ofrimu tuma. Which means, the one that will hurt you is usually the one closest to you. Anasu went home singing an old festival song. He called his wife and son to his bedroom and said to them, I kweku anase shall not live forever despite my major awesomeness one day i will die and when that happens i want you to promise to do exactly what i'm going to tell you he went on when i die bury me in the center of our farm and put the following items in my coffin i'd like a spoon a knife a ladle a box of matches some kerosene oh yeah and add some salt dried fish would be nice too and some palm oil. He lit his pipe and continued. My last wish is that once you have put my coffin in the earth, do not cover it with sand, but with leaves and flat wood. Do not forget to let me go away with my pipe. He breathed deeply. These things which I'm asking you to do for me will help me find my way to heaven. I almost forgot one thing though. Use a simple coffin and don't nail the lid down. I repeat, do not nail the lid down, he concluded. Which means you can tell how successful a venture or event will be from the beginning, so do keep listening. Konole and Entukuma nodded. They wondered what was wrong with Anase. The next day, Anase felt terribly ill. He grew worse with each passing day. Finally, at the end of the week, he died. The whole village gave Anase a befitting burial. All his wishes were fulfilled. After the burial, Konole and Entikuma thought it was time to harvest the farm and enjoy the fruits of their labor. Surprisingly, each morning, when they arrived on the farm, they noticed that someone had stolen from their crops. This went on for some time until they could no longer bear it. Konole wondered, Entikuma, what can we do to stop the thief? Entikuma thought hard and offered a solution. Let us make a sticky gum statue and place it at the center of the farm to frighten and possibly catch the thief. It is a good idea, said Konole. As the saying goes, Ubinima Ubiche, which basically means if someone does not know, someone teaches. Bottom line, it is good to share knowledge and wisdom. The next morning, the sticky gum statue was made and was placed at the center of the farm. Anase woke up at midnight to continue what he had been doing for the past few weeks. 
which was stealing as much food as he could possibly eat. He would make fire, cook, and eat it before morning. He always ate to his satisfaction before smoking his pipe under the moonlight. However, that night, as soon as Anasu woke up, he saw someone standing at a distance. He thought that since the farm belonged to him and his family, he could challenge anyone who came there at night. Who are you? he shouted and went a bit closer to frighten the intruder. What are you doing here? He yelled again, but there was no answer. He went closer still and screamed, If you do not answer me, I will beat you severely. Again, there was no answer. He then slapped the gum statue with all his strength on the left cheek. His right hand got stuck to the statue, so he threatened, If you do not leave my hand, I will slap you again. He slapped the statue on the other cheek, and his left hand also got stuck. He then used his head and his stomach. Finally, he kicked with his legs and found that he was glued from head to toe to the statue, realizing he was trapped. And as he began to beg the gum statue, let me go and I'll give you everything on the farm. And as he pleaded till daybreak, and yet the gum statue would not let him loose. He was covered in sweat. Mm -hmm. And as the saying goes, Meaning, if you plot for the downfall of a fellow man, you will reap what you sow, because at the end of the day, what goes around will come back around. The sun began to rise and Konole and Intikuma arrived on the farm. From a distance, they saw someone stuck to the gum statue. They ran back to the village to call all the villagers. And as the saying goes, Kaye, so we yi ba and na emu which means there is strength in unity. Working together is the best. When they returned, they were surprised to find Anase, who everyone believed was dead, stuck to the gum statue. The villagers were so angry. As soon as he was freed, Anase ran as fast as his tiny legs could carry him and hid in the ceiling of a room. He has remained in the ceiling of rooms till this day. Moral of the story? Do good, don't be greedy, because in Nguasia and Fata Okaniba, which means disgrace does not befit an Akan. Or you could also interpret it as disgrace does not befit anybody. Well, it seems as though we have reached the end of this video. I hope you liked it, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned quite a bit because it was kind of the point. If you'd like to know more about these Akan programs, just click on the link below and it will redirect you straight to the article. Until then, you can just take care of yourselves, be kind to one another, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.